All right, we're back with a uh, discussion about AI, ChatGPT, the new features, the custom GPTs. Um, what you're looking at on the screen is a list of GPTs I have used. <clears throat> I've not made many of them public or anything to that effect, but they're pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, the idea for this video, kind of live recorded, is I kind of want to make a GPT live, but I also want to show some of the ones that I've created. And we are going to focus a little bit more religiously on this one because it's fun for me, at least. So we're going to go to the scripture melody matcher real fast. So the idea behind this is that we can find a scriptures. So let's go to the library, go to scriptures. Um, uh, maybe what we'll do is go to the come follow me. Where is come follow me these days? There we go. So I believe it's James. <clears throat> so we're going to go to James and go to chapter one, perhaps. So, uh, Let's find, let's just go to the whole thing. And um, give you lack wisdom. Actually, I'd really like to highlight this real fast, just so you can see you know, what's going on. Purple being my big one. So we're going to say five and six, James one, five and six. And that's all we have to put in here. You can come in here and say, what does this do? And that's a thing that you may want to do with custom GPTs, which are basically a chat GPT with a set of instructions that helps with a particular task, job, theme. So I'm here to find you beautiful, connected connections between music and scriptures. If you have any specific scripture or biblical verse in mind, I can suggest a song that resonates with its message. So also, should I jump in here? Hello. So that's fun. So we're going to say James 1, uh, 5, and 6. And we're going to see what connections it does. So I've told it, uh, we used it a bunch last night, made it on a spur of the moment on my cell phone when I was hanging out with a friend last night. Like, look what this can do. What should we do? Okay. So we jumped in there and I, I kept on configuring it. So I went over here and did edit GPT and um, configured it. So, all right. So I told it to quote the scriptures when it does it <clears throat> and then um a, a song that resonates with the theme of seeking divine wisdom and trusting in god's guidance is you say by lauren daigle she sings about one's finding identity and worth in god says about us emphasizing trust in his wisdom and love and then i told it to like quote parts of the song. So it says, you say I'm loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I'm strong when I am weak. And you say I'm held when I'm falling short. Now, is it going to be the very best song connection ever? I don't know exactly. Um, I feel like one approach um, to it should be to think of five different songs that would connect. And then judge the top one so um now that is perhaps a idea that i have but that's not like every person that comes here should have to have that idea to make this effective i should change the gpt to kind of represent that so we go in here here's the name of it i uh, hear some conversation starters I don't really change the conversation starties. I haven't added much knowledge to the knowledge base. I definitely want web browsing enabled. 
a code interpreter. We don't need Dolly in there, but I don't know the benefit of unchecking that. A lot of the stuff is right here. So um, uh, I feel like, just a second, let me edit this a little bit. I'm going to pause while I... All right, I took a moment to check things out. I'm going to move that video up here. And what I like to do after creating um, uh, the chat GPT with OpenAI's assistance, I go in here and and organize it, even just for my own purposes. I do not know if this is actually a better way to script the instructions. But I was like, well, here's the objective. Here's the tone. I know it always asks about that. And here's kind of like the the main thing. Main action. And then uh, main, then I said, you know, like, um, let's put this over here. Don't know how much this makes it better, but I did a bunch yesterday just on my cell phone. Now that we're on a laptop, there we go. So I wanted to make a connection, but what I wanted to do is think of five possible connections, then decide which was the best one. Um, uh, share the best connection and why it connects. Clever and inspiring. All right. And then I wanted to share the other connections as well. I might as well put a bullet point since everything else seems to. So have that. Now I want to hit update. I don't know how often you have to hit update, but when I do, I'm going to go to the GPT itself so that I have a new conversational tab because in preview, it won't keep it, but this may be interesting. So we're going to go back here and we are going to pick 26 and 27. So we're going to say James 1, 26 through 27. All right, you ready for this? Now, it should have a set of instructions. I should have given it enough to indicate how to interact with users. I did um, say to title the sections, to make the connection. Okay, cool. And um, background, I did say to make background for Man in the Mirror, so you can have this fun moment of like, yeah, just... It was written by Glenn Ballard and Saida Garrett. And then um, OpenAI has been hit a lot with a lot of traffic. So it has been slow. Um, that's weird. Whoa. It's uh, doing a two prong thing. I've only seen that one other time. Anyways, uh, so 126 through 27 is if you, well, it's the lyric that it's pulling it from is you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and be the change and make the change. So uh, um, these lyrics directly echo, echo the essence where the focus on genuine self assert assessment leading to meaningful action in the world, particularly in serving others and maintaining integrity. I really wanted it to quote the scripture as well, so I could change the instructions to make sure that it quotes. Anyways, the other ones that it had in mind is humble and kind, try a little kindness, revolution, my own two hands, and Hall of Fame. So it inspires listeners to be the best they can be. All right. So this is where we'd go back to edit this. 
go to configure, and so you'll see me do this in action. Just a second, I'll pause it. Okay, I technically didn't do too much. All I did was I really wanted it to like quote part of the scripture. I didn't change too much else, but I could definitely think a little bit more about it. I did say main connection, quote, background, other connection, links. And I did say that it could um, include a playlist of all the songs mentioned. So let's see how it goes. I don't know if I have to hit update each time, but we're going to do it. And um, uh, we're going to We're going to go to the next chapter. How about that? Where is the next button? Oh, well, we don't have one. All right, there we go. We'll just click on James 2. Just a second. I, I did this yesterday. So I actually, oh, this is the arrow right here. It's good. So I've already done James too. I know you guys haven't, but um, this is a fun way to study. Let's just try this very short one, James three eleven. See if it can handle that. James three eleven. Scripture Melody Matcher says, he quotes it. Okay, can both fresh water and salt water f flow from the same spring? Now we could indicate that they always need to use like um, the Team James version, but it's gonna use what it uses. And actually I don't mind it using a different version. That's much easier to understand. So I like that it's quoting it up front. I actually suggested a different order, but I think it made it inaudible here and changed it and it's good. So we've got one by James Bevere, Rivers of Living Water, um, uh, captures the essence of James 3.11. The song speaks about purity and sanctity of the spirit, much like the fresh water mentioned in the scripture. And that gives a little bit about him, a renowned Christian speaker and author who incorporates deep spiritual insights into his music. Okay. The song lyrically explores the idea that water flows within us that what water flows from within us should be pure and life-giving resonating with the scripture's metaphor of a spring that cannot produce fresh salt water salt water is in other connections and now here's the big question is the playlist going to have all those songs and that link did not work so uh, yeah, I've had issues with the Spotify thing, so that may just get removed for now. Living water, river of dreams, heal the world. The idea of fresh water symbolizing goodness and purity in contrast to the salt water. I want more about the connection. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to pause and I'll show you. Okie dokie, I made some changes. I focused on like a very thorough uh, format quote uh, and then the main connection and background and a mini fireside and other connection and then links. And then I indicated um, versus to consider, okay. So I indicated what the fireside would be like, what the main connection, background, fireside, I talked about it all. And now we're going to update. In the meantime, we're gonna to go to James four and see if we can find a good verse. I don't have anything marked here. Just a second. Um, okay, this is a simple one. Uh, chapter four ten. Oh, how about this one? Speak not evil, evil of others. Okay, so let's do James four. We're gonna open it. Eleven. James four eleven. Let's see if it gets us our new 
formatting. So it quotes it first and does a main connection. Man in the mirror again, which is funny. This is totally different conversation. So it does connection, explain relevant lyrics, scripture connection, background, mini fireside. That is a very mini. I, I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. Other connection. So here we go. Man in the mirror. Song that sizes self-reflection, personal change, rather than judging and criticize others. What is it? Speak not evil. He that speak evil of his brother and judges his brothers. Um, yeah. Okay. Self-reflection, personal change, rather than judging and criticizing. Okay. That makes sense. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change aligned with the scripture's message, focusing on self-improvement rather than speaking ill of others. I don't need this section again. You can keep on crafting and crafting it, of course. Um, warns against judging others, advocating. I, I don't need these two. I, I, I okay, background. I feel like it's saying this again and again. I want mm, better background too. I feel like the longer my description gets, my instruction set is getting, maybe it's not getting terribly better. I do like the better formatting. I would like to see this longer. Humble and kind, try, respect, imagine, lean on me. And it said, fan in the mirror, and it did not work. I think, personally, this is really good to see the breakdown of how this is made and give feedback even to me to see if you like this. I change it up quite a bit. Now it's objective, tone, what it does, and then result. Okay, so the result is now break down in like six steps. You quote the scripture or the song. You share the winning connection. You share the bio of this artist and the and um, the kind of like bi biography of the song, I guess. And then you talk about the connection. Talk about the connection, a long, inspiring. We'll see what it, it thinks of long. <laughs> we'll see what it does. And then share the other connections and then make a playlist. So uh, I, I'm liking this a little bit more. So we're gonna update and we are gonna hit confirm. And then we're going to hit that little button to try again. So we're going to go back to James. Um, I really, I, I kind of want to do James for 11 again. So first it's quoting it and then get, breaking it down, refraining from judgment and gossip, brotherly and unity, respect for divine law, danger of playing the judge, humility and reflection. Okay, the winning connection, bridge over troubled water. I even like the wording of winning connection. Um, and it's going through this two, three, four, five, six thing very, very well. And the quote that it's connecting to it, when you are weary, feeling small, when tears you're not, I will dry them all. Okay, so what is the connection? Refraining from judgment, brotherhood, and unity. We'll see. Let's talk about the connection over here. But first, let's learn a bit about background. It speaks to offering solace and understanding at times. I like this. This is, it's short. It's not, I mean, people could keep asking more about Simon de Garfunkel. Now, I'm going to read the whole talk about the connection. I really hope it's good. I want it to be inspiring. I want this, this custom GPT to be really good. The resonance between James 4 and 11 and Bridge Over Troubled Water is profound. Where James implores us to avoid judgment and embrace brotherhood, the song offers a metaphorical bridge of support and understanding, both to speak to the human, uh, the heart of human connection, emphasizing the importance of empathy over criticism. In a world where it's easy to be a judge, both the scripture and the song remind us of the higher calling to be a support 
a listener, a bridge for others. They underscore the value of unity and empathy, urging us to lift each other up instead of tearing down. The connection is not just a musical harmony, but a call to deeper, more compassionate way of living. Other connections. It only gave two. It only gave two. I would have liked to see more, but we got lean on me and count on me. Um, and then it didn't give me a list, but it gave, I would like a link. I think that's what I was referencing, but I may not have said it. Let's go back, check this out. Yeah, it just said a playlist. I need to change it. And link. Spotify link. Let's uh, capitalize that. And share a song for each theme. Oh, did I say theme up here? I did say theme here. What else would I want? Um, yeah, it said what the song is about. And um, so you can just take that just change that make everything a little bit shorter what the song is about how the song came into being sometimes what you want to do is just shorten this everything so you can kind of write it out but then shorten it um uh, And then a long, inspiring, wasn't super long, but it was quality. So I like that. So I did make a couple of changes. Objective, what it does, results. Okay. Share at least one song for each theme. Boom. So you got to see that one live. Now we're going to go find another one. Um, uh, just a second. Let me find a good scripture. Oh, this one's kind of rough. <laughs> Look at that one. Chapter 4-4. Four, four. So we're going to do that. I still don't know if I have to hit update every time. We are going to try James 4-4. Four, four. Now, other people can go in and do the exact same style of custom GPT as this, a scripture to music matcher, and you can try a different set of instructions, share it with me. I think that the best one is going to be the most pleasant experience with the best content. So, all right. So what are the primary themes? Conflict between worldly desires and divine expectations, spiritual adult, spiritual adultery, and faithful to God as it yeah, okay. Divine judgment, moral choices, friendship with God. And the winning connection is you can't serve God and money by Bob Dylan. And it says here you must decide upon which side you must decide upon which side you stand. You can't serve God and money. You must take your stand. All right, so we got the bio about the song and the song Genesis. Dylan's transition to Christian music in the 70s and 80s marked a significant 
period in his career where his songs reflected Christian themes and biblical references. I did not know that. I sure hope that's correct. You always, you know, never quite know. But uh, obviously the song is you can't serve God and money, so it's probably all right. Um, and talk about the connection. These, these are fun. Let's see how good this is. Imagine standing at the crossroads where one life's path leads to a bustling city filled with shimmering lights and the other a peaceful chapel under starlit sky. James 4.4 4 poses a profound choice, the alluring yet fleeting pleasures of the world or the eternal brace of the divine Bob Dylan's You Can't Serve God. And money is a musical embodiment of this spiritual dilemma. Dylan, with his poetic mastery, reminds us that our hearts can't be divided between earthly treasures and heavenly love. His song, much like James' words, challenges us to reflect on our priorities, urging us to choose a path that aligns with our deeper values and spiritual aspirations. It's about the courage to forsake temporary gains for eternal riches, to seek a friendship with God that outshines the world's glittering allure. This can, yeah. Okay. I like it. It's inspiring. I I like that it's almost like a TED talk. I did say that. And now the connections are still just two. Still just two. I said one for each and it's still just two. Connects with the theme of a spiritual yearning and the conflict between worldly desires and divine expectations. Oh, it just does not want to create a Spotify link. So, um, uh, I, I still want to do one last edit because I want more connections. Let's change that. Every primary theme. Okay, I could just say five more connected, more connections. And I can't say song because what if we go the other directions? One connection to every primary theme. Okay, create a playlist, uh, create a... S yeah, it's just not gonna do that Spotify thing. It's too challenging for it. Um, it's, I, I, maybe Spotify doesn't even allow it. Scripture song, which scripture song is the best connection? Quote the section, short bio, I like all that. Long spring, blah, blah, blah. yeah, I like all of that. Just want some more connections. I'm gonna hit update. I still don't know if I have to hit update. All righty, let's find something in James 5. Let me pause it. All right, we count them happy which endure. 511, let's do it. James. Five eleven. It's I like that it also breaks down the scripture. Um and it's seeming to take a moment. So let me pause. Well I don't know how many different uh there oh it's going already. Okay. And it does tell you which script version it, it's gonna be. It's not King James Version, it's NIV version. 
as you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered, who have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen that the Lord finally brought about the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. So perseverance through trials, blessing and reward for patience, example of Job, divine compassion, mercy, observation, learning from others. All right, you raise me up. And it quotes it and it gives a connection. The song embodies the theme of of gaining strength and perseverance through divine external support, uh, divine compassion and mercy, perseverance. Um, okay. So a little bit about the artist. That seems pretty short, but it is what it is. Maybe it's shorter because the rest of this is longer. And the connection still seems decently long. Um, exemplified through the story, Job resonates with the message of you raise me up. The scripture teaches us about divine virtues of patience and enduring faith in the face of trials. Um, yeah, the quote. Okay. I like the section. I like that I could find it fast, but just like jumping to it. And it's almost got a recap. It's a song, the artist, you know, the connection. Blessings by Laura Story. I will not be moved. Natalie Grant. I have the storm. Stronger. Tell your heart to beat again. And playlist won't work. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You'd have to like, I guess, put them all in there. That's one thing. If we could figure out the Spotify playlist, it would be awesome to just like click. I want to listen to all six of them. That's awesome. So that we could do more. All right. I'm liking it. So we're going to keep going on this and think of a song. Um, what's a random song? Sorry, being put on the spot random song. I'm just going to go to my Spotify and check. All right, we're going to do a U2 song. Even better than the real thing by U2. So, say now do. And now I'm going the opposite direction. We're going to see how that goes. And the quote is, give me one chance to be satisfied. Give me two chances and you won't be denied. Pursuit of satisfaction and fulfillment. The illusion versus reality. Desire, temptation, perseverance, and resilience. It's not saying that it's just doing the quote. I'm hoping it's doing the whole song. Huh. Let's see what wins. Corinthians 13, 12. For now I see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we sh shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Speaks to the theme of illusion versus reality in U2 song. It discusses how our current understandings and perceptions are only partial, like a reflection. But a time will come when we see and understand fully. Oh, yeah, even better than the real thing. Eventually, we will see more. Okay. The song was part of U2's reinvention phase where they experimented with more industrial electronic sounds. Yeah, that's kind of fun. All right, let's read the little mini sermon. Uh, intersect intriguingly on the theme of perception and reality. Hey. I really like this connection with its energetic rhythm and searching lyrics speaks to the human desire to find something that transcends our ordinary experience, something even better. This aligns beautifully with Paul's words in Corinthians about our limited understanding of life and truth. We see only a reflection in the mirror. Both the song and the scripture suggest a future clarity and fulfillment, a promise of something greater beyond our current grasp. Ah. This was all worth it. The 34, 35 minutes, probably 40 with the times I hit pause. That was, to I think, 
I'm happy with this. I think I'm happy with this for now. This is awesome. And we also have a few others. If you could just play them for me, that would be super. I feel like it's got to be possible. So. Um, oh, and I like that it has these like sub themes, right? Transformation and change is shadows and dust. Uh, desire and temptation is um, oceans where feet may fail. Um, eye of the storm, perseverance and resilience. Walk by faith, faith is illusion versus reality. Trusting and not what's seen, aligning with the theme of reality versus perception. And then thrive by casting crowns, pursuit of satisfaction and fulfillment. It's about seeking a life of abundance and purpose. Okay. This is very cool. We got to do it again. Why not? What are you guys doing anyways? Might as well just, we might as well just do this. I got to sign in again, apparently, to find my favorite one. All right. All right. I'm back. Signed in. Uh, okay. We're going to do 516. Now, James, 516. Confess your sins one with another. Pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is a powerful and effective. So power of, yeah, confession. Yeah, it says confession. Intercessory prayer enforces a praying for others. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what it said. Pray for each other, yep. Healing through prayer, yep. Healed right there. Uh, righteousness and its influence in prayer. Yeah, the righteous person, yep. Community and support in faith. Yep. All of those things. And we are going to go to Pray by Sam Smith. Yeah, well, it's just interesting since he is not very religious. The song, while expressing a complex relationship with faith, underscores the theme of prayer and seeking guidance, resonating with emphasis on prayer. seeking solace and guidance through prayer well you know everyone has a time and a place they, they go through their own little journey mr sam smith um i think that's who i'm thinking of i, I can't remember i feel like sam smith maybe he is very religious i thought he was the one that he wasn't anyways um okay so they delve into prayer from different perspectives. The scripture highlights the power of prayer in the context of confessing, confession and healing, and community support. It encourages a collective faith. In contrast, pray approaches prayer as a personal quest for guidance in a complex world. The song's raw emotion honesty reflect the scripture's call for openness and faith. I guess you could just do a follow-up. Is Sam's religious background and his uh, spiritual journey to now? Never know. We'll see. It may actually check the internet for this sort of stuff. Oh, is he a they? Yeah, so when was this song written? It's it's sticking with talking about the song Pray. they've expressed. 